Hello, hello. Welcome to the stream. So, what is this? I'm a little bit late to this party. I probably really should have done this before we started the uh, Ocarina co-op randomizer, which we started yesterday, me and Jack. But uh, playing the game as it was meant to be played, which is, you know, two idiots running through Hyrule Field together, reminded me of this, and I figured I might as well get around to it. So, there was a fan recreation of the Zelda Ocarina of Time Space World demo that hit the internet a few months back. Uh, Space World being kind of a predecessor to E3, that sort of thing, that uh, Nintendo participated in for most of the... throughout the 90s. That was their thing. Uh, this is not the actual demo, but a recreation of it made by fans from... What bits survive of it, I think it was on an F-Zero pre-release cartridge, and some other notes from the Giga Leak about a year or two back that also included the Pokemon Gold Silver Space World demo. That was from a later Space World, but I have that as well. So depending on how long Zelda lasts, I might try out the Pokemon one. But I've been blind to this. I haven't watched any playthroughs or videos. I'm a little bit familiar with the development of Ocarina. Like, super early on. The, the first glimpse we got in the Super NES era was a very, very shoddy-looking video of a 3D Link fighting a 3D Stalfos. That was the earliest Zelda 3D. And this, this game was in development for quite a while after that. Now this recreation obviously benefits from the game being finished and released, so it's... able to use textures from the final game. I don't know which ones are... strictly from... The beta version of it? That's a smile. That's a face. Oh, it's another reason I was putting this off, was because for the longest time, Project 64 was not working in OBS. That issue thankfully resolved itself, so I can finally do these things again. That sure is some text. Space World 95 Experience Release Trailer. I'm, I'm sorry, I, just, I want to click this video just for a second so I can get the... Uh, the people who made this. The YouTube video... The YouTube channel is Zell. Z-E-L. So uh, go check out my distant cousin. Is my controller not set up? Wow, has it been that long since I played... a? Uh, Zelda 64 thing. Or Nintendo 64 thing. Yeah, it, uh, it's set up for keyboard. It did not remember my, uh, my controller thing. Hold on, it'll take just a second. So, when Ocarina was in development, it was modeled more after, like, Mario 64, and Ganon's Castle was a hub world, so to speak, for the different areas of the game. I don't think they initially thought they would be able to do a full, sprawling world with interlinked areas when they started developing the game. Now, I don't know where along that this falls, this beta, or this demo, rather. 
map select credit. So what this is, the demo was a collection, a set of three gameplay chunks that you could play. I know that. Oh, hello. You just hanging out in here? B is, oh, that's weird. A is sword and B is speak. That, that doesn't quite look like Link's ocarina model, but I can't tell for sure. Space World 97, Legend of Zelda Hyrule Demo Tour. Welcome to Kikiri Forest, Jara. I'm sorry of the Kikiri, nice to meet you. I kind of like that text box style. Try pressing the Z trigger when you go outside, you'll face the front, so it's super handy. Jara. Is that like a verbal tick? Is that like her saying desu? Use, use nut. Use nut. I can't use items. So the house is pretty much the same. It doesn't have the overhead view, but... This is, it's, the controls are backwards, it's so bizarre. Why would they make a sword? That wasn't how it was in previous Zelda games. His bed is gone, yes, that's correct. Hello, Fado. Let's talk with the B button. Green icon at the top of the screen is the action you can currently perform with B, Jara. Normal jump lets you jump off edges without pressing the B button, so try playing on the pond's jumping stones, Jara. I, by the end of the stream, I hope I know if that's the character's name, or if that is just like a, a speech thing. Okay, so medals are on the regular item screen. There are six of them. What what is this thing I can select? Oh, it's it's a list of of the things. Okay. Wallets, inventory screen, and a beta map. No. Boy, that's a really th easy thing to hit by mistake. Oh. Oh, what are you? Dude! We found the Funky Kong Kikiri. The three yellow icons at the top right of the screen show items you can use with C left, down, and right, Jara. It, 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 it is a... It's got to be a Kikiri speech thing. Well, I'm glad that didn't make it into the final game. That would get real annoying. Oh. Beta girl Kikiri. My house is a mess right now, so you can't go in. Try the ne house next door. These two look too realistic. It's not that realistic, but they're, they're not quite anime enough. They don't quite fit the, the final game's art style. Wow, there's a lot of uh, beta models. Swing your sword with the A button, but don't take a swipe at me. Empty words. How many houses were circular like this? It was only Lynx in the final game, wasn't it? Welcome to my pride and joy, my house. Take it easy. You can change the view mode with the C up button. Oh, there it is. It's it's not quite the final version, but it's a similar kind of look to, uh, what is it, the twins? There's the male Kikiri, is that guy. The Muppet face. So there's music inside the buildings, but not in the regular forest area yet. 
There's what would become the default female Kikiri. Going to the fairy tree? In that case, be careful. There are huge Deku Babas growing on the way. When that weed attacks, it's invincible. Once it's still, that's your chance to defeat it. Use jump when you want to dodge. Jump. Oh, there's a forward jump. He doesn't roll, he jumps forward. Kikiri shop. The text boxes are a little bit slow. You don't actually have to buy the stuff on sale in this shop using rupees. You can get Deku sticks by defeating Deku Babas and stuff. Well, it's up to you. You could at least buy some nuts. I want to, like, I want to zoom in. I want to see the model. She kind of, she, from down here, she looks kind of chadly. I'm assuming that's still a she. It's a she-chad. Can I get up there? In the final game, you can get up there. Wait. This, this is what my forward jump is for. No. Don't, don't target. Don't target. I want to just... No. I, I would just want to face this way and use Z. Ah! Made it! Now I'm going to fall off immediately. I, I can't get a good look. Maybe if I speak to her. Hey. Hey. Ah! She pushed me off. Oh, even the shop is circular. And the dude is taller. I think. He's like tending bar. It's a Kikiri bartender. What else is here? There's the jumping stones. Swimming is still a thing. I'm still no good at it. You don't get free rupees. You don't get any rupees from the look of it. And I guess this part of the forest is off limits. I, I'm a very shy person. That's why I'm usually out of sight. You come near me, we can chat. This is so awkward. It's just a very slightly different female Kikiri model. It's the face is different. I forget if we get lore as to why Fado is the one unique looking Kikiri besides, you know, Saria. In like the, there's like a Zelda manga. Nut. It is immune to nut. Wow, it is completely invincible. Also, you notice I was not holding R. So I can guard, but I can also just stand still. And my shield works. I don't have to press anything. So, the only difference pressing R is that I... I can, like, uh, not get budged. There's no jump slash. Alright, let's meet the fairy tree. I am the guardian deity of the Kikiri. The De Deku tree? I thought you were the fairy tree. 
Work with my servant, Navi the Fairy, to eradicate the evil parasites that burrow within my, uh, my body. There's not a full dungeon in this, is there? How expansive is this demo? I knew it was like three chunks, but then the chunks seemed to be divided into into more chunks, because we clicked the, clicked the first one and it had like Hyrule Castle was one of them. There's no roll. Oh, there's like uh, kind of diagonalish jumps. I think it's kinda, it's hard to tell. I don't like these guys. These guys are a pain to fight in this version. Well, that's a that's a bit of a lazy animation. At least the stick doesn't seem to break. Oh no, it does. It breaks, and then I just have a broken stick. How long does the broken stick last? It got restored to full stick. I got a piece of heart. Eight pieces make up a container. Oh man, they made it even worse than uh, Twilight Princess with its five pieces. This feels more like a Twilight Princess kind of dungeon design, with the central pillar. I mean, it makes sense for the inside of a tree, I guess, but... Oh, camera! That was a Pac-Man noise when I got the heart. button? This is a button. So they kept that style of button for, I think there's something like that in the fire temple, if I remember correctly. I keep trying to roll and I can't. I don't think we're going to get to Pokemon today. Uh, there's also... So, the Pokemon Space World demo is the actual demo that Nintendo showed at Space World. However, there's also a fan version that uh, fleshes it out into a full game with the Pokemon in the demo, many of whom were cut from Gold Silver. Hello, Charles. I'm a little interested in Carby. I could go for a bit at Carby. The uh, new 3D Kirby game is the first time I've been kind of interested in a new Kir new Kirby game since ever. Not really my go. Not really my kind of series for the most part. I'm not crazy about when it became a beat 'em up. I played Kirby's Adventure a lot as a kid. I like that one. Can I do anything in here? I cannot appear to. This is a 
seemingly much more complex dungeon than the final Deku Tree turned out to be. This is a big Deku dungeon. Uh, hmm. Go on, turn around. Turn around. Oh, okay. Wow, all the enemies are no more annoying in this version. Ah, where did you come from? Everything takes multiple hits. Which I guess is in line with other Zelda games with the 2D ones. Enemies tended to take a few hits. I didn't expect there to be a dungeon. Hello, Tox. It's got the uh, Kakiri symbol splattered around everywhere. That is, in the final game, a Jabu Jabu enemy, yes. Although that's also... In the final game, we get the boomerang in Jabu Jabu's belly, so... It seems this version of the dungeon has, like, a wood theme. So they put the electric enemies so you would use the wood items. Ah. I have so many hearts. I started with this many. Oh, hello. How many of you are there? Maybe this will be easier. Can I do this? I can. Uh, update on the randomizer from yesterday. I did get a tracker, so things will uh, go more quickly next time. Great controls. Illitox, this is a beta of a Nintendo 64 game. What what are you expecting? Okay, every item, you have to press once to take it out and then again to use it. Even the sword. Watch, A... A. I kind of like the half a stick mechanic. I don't know how they would have used it in the final game. I guess it kind of sort of went to the... the big Goron knife. Or the Goron Sword, whatever it's called. Giant's Knife, that's the one. I hope I didn't miss anything I needed on the ground floor, because I did not thoroughly explore down there before I started up here. Ow. Uh, hmm. Well, I need a stick. How do I get big stick again? Uh. I don't like this. Got cut the stem, Link. It takes so long to walk up to it. Alright, I have big stick. Is 
it does still have the decency to zoom in on what activating the things did. There is a surprising amount of the final game in here. This camera, though. It, it wants to rotate. It wants to stick around the central pillar. Imagine Ocarina of Time, but it has a Resident Evil camera, where it just moves between zones of set camera. Ow. That sounds terrible. I don't know why I suggested that. It takes so long to die. Nope. Ain't nobody got time for that. Uh Well, that's great, but how go th how go there? Is that a piece of heart? I guess. What a mundane pickup. It didn't have the thing where it sh like showed Link picking up the item or anything. I wonder how much of this Vinny played. I know he streamed some of it. I think he did two streams of it, so... Maybe there's enough of it for me to do multiple streams. Boy, the Zelda playlist is going to look like a mess after this. We already interrupted Twilight Princess for the randomizer. Now I'm interrupting the randomizer for this. Okay. I'm done. I've had my fill of Demo, Demo Deku Tree. Can we fight Goma yet? Does Navi tell me about enemies? No, I guess she doesn't. Wow, I don't even have to hold the shield up. The short the sword is so short range. Oh, it's like playing Lagoon again. Oh, okay, that works. It's a dick length in front of him. I guess I have to kill everything in here. How much game does this have anyway? More than I apparent than I anticipated. I was told it was three like areas that you could explore. But when I selected the first one, it opened a menu into a bunch of other ones, so it looks more like 10 to 12. You don't even have to reflect them, you can just run up and cut them. This is a Wind Waker sized dungeon. Oh really? Do we have do we have the thing where we jump through the web? Is that in the beta dungeon too? I 
hate these flowers. Ah! Whatever. Don't care. This is where I get to the top and I fight King bob -omb. Why eight, though? And why was that the prize up here? No. Ooh. That was almost bad. What's down here? Have I been down here? Ah! Ah! Okay. How complex is this? I don't know where I am. Was this the room that I ran through with a big, with a flaming stick? Yeah, this is that room. Well, uh, I guess I, I'm not going over there anymore. Wait, where'd the thing? Huh? Wait, how did it fall from up here and land there? I wonder how much revision a mainline Nintendo game goes through. I'm sure it varies from era to era, but... N64 especially, because there was no there was no precedent for 3D games. They probably did a ton to get everything just right. I wonder if we'll ever get a uh, Mario 64 demo reveal. If one of those will ever be uncovered. All right, boss. The uh, boss. Okay, we just needed to drop that piece of bridge to get to the end. Goma is lurking in the dark. Change your view with C up and search for Goma's glowing eye. Well, that kind of spoils it. Open. Open. Do I need a boss key? Is there no boss? Is this is this the end? What a tease that would be. You just get to the end and there's just, nope, Navi won't open the door. We haven't programmed the boss yet, sorry. I, that seems like the case. Unless there is a boss key. And it's just not being made obvious to me. Jesus, seven floors. There's a treasure chest I haven't gotten. That's probably just another heart piece. Well, I'm not going to worry about it, because... Well, I haven't gotten the map, so that's probably the map. I'm cool with not fighting a boss. I'm ready to move on. Hyrule Tour, Dungeon Tour, Battle Tour. Okay, maybe these ones are shorter, the dungeons and the battles. Inside... Oh. Okay, so that's connected. Well, one of the shortcuts just takes you to where we just were. You know, I had so much fun with this dungeon. Let's do it again. Oh, this this map is red. Why is this map red? Okay, so it's not 12, necessarily. Okay, what else is there? There's Hyrule Castle, Hyrule Field, Death Mountain. A uh, couple more dungeons. Oh, wait. Hold on. We can do Goma. We have a we have a battle. I thought. Huh? Am I missing something?
open. Uh, was that maybe I just wasn't standing in the right spot? Okay, this room looks relatively unchanged. Doesn't even look at the door behind him. I imagine the combat was one of the things they tested first. They were probably doing enemies and bosses long before they were designing dungeons. Because that, that was the thing that... That's something related to making the engine. Once you have the engine made, the, the dungeons will just fall into place. Ah. Let's try the stick. Stick power. I don't know how powerful the stick is in this version. Alright, I'm gonna shoot her down this time. And I'm still not breathing right. Did you get the... Did you get the virus, Charles? No heart. That I can see. Alright, at least we got to fight... Uh, we got to fight... Goma. Map select. Age. Oh, I can choose what age. Okay. There's like a debug map select. Oh. Oh no, I don't want to watch this. Okay, I can skip it. Let's go to the next area. Let's go to Hyrule Castle. Oh. Oh, that's a sickly yellow and a sickly green. Welcome to Vomit Road, everyone. is a uh, very unguarded version of Hyrule Castle. What's over? Does this go to the Fairy Fountain? Yes, it does. What items do I have? Normal items? No items. To think this might have been our fast travel. Hello. What's up? I'm thinking someday I'd like to become a great, a grand gatekeeper who blocks the way and doesn't let anyone pass. Okay. That's their dream. They'll achieve it by the uh, by the final game, kind of, sort of. I would jump in there, but I'm I'm afraid maybe they haven't put in a way to get out yet.
There's a way to get out. There's just this random block over here. There doesn't seem to be a side entrance into the castle. Can I make this? Final game. This is a... Uh, this is a demo for Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. It, it's so bizarre not having the roll. So this seems to be, as far as I can tell, just a map that shows the castle. I can't actually enter the castle or do anything further here. Like a modded version. Uh, no, so there was a... There was a conference called the uh, Space World that was like E3 before E3, where companies would show off new games. And Nintendo frequented these and showed off their demos. I think in 1997 they had a demo for Ocarina of Time, and between a few different leaks, some fans have gotten, try, attempted to compile and recreate that demo from the 97 Ocarina Space World presentation. Now I also have the actual demo for Pokemon Gold and Silver from like the 1999-2000 Space World. That's not a fan cre recreation, that's the actual one. So that will be something I'll do at some point down the line as well. The demo have stu has stuff that isn't in the game. Yes, it does. S standing still. The shield works by standing still. You don't have to hold the R button. Oh, there's other wild horses in Hyrule Field. Let's have a horse race. I can use the, the bow and arrow on horseback with a C button. Can I use bombs? Lamp oil? I cannot. I can all I can get my sword out on horseback, but I can't swing it. This is a very different Hyrule Hyrule field map. So you got arrows, hammers. I have the giant's knife. What what other items are there? Small quiver, small bomb bag. I'm gonna go to where the forest would be. Let's compare Hyrule Field. I'm gonna guess that I can't jump this fence. That's a forest background, so I'm guessing this was the entrance to Kikiri Forest. Zora's River has guardrails. Although I, I venture that's just to keep us in the in the game area, in the field area. It looks mostly pretty similar to the final version. Got the river running to the castle moat. Got the bridge to Kikariko. I can't rotate. There we go. No stairs to Kikariko, just a bunch of blocked off field. No entry to Castle Town. Do they have jumping work? Oh, there's Ganon's horse! Hold on, hold on. This is important. I gotta try to ride Ganon's horse. I'm gonna get in front of it. I'm gonna stop it like a police car. No. Stop! Cease! 
End. Pull over. I, I can't stop it. Man. Oh, there's a little... What, what's there? There's a little tree there. What's the little tree do? Can I jump it? No, I can run into it and break it. You think the demo has stuff that's locked off? Well, again, this is a fan recreation of the demo. So, uh... In this one, probably not. I mean, the fans probably tried to make as much accessible as possible. In cases where the full demo is available to the public in some way, like the uh, Pokemon one was found in a in a big leak a year or two back. I believe that has a uh, cutting room floor page. Got okay. This is this is fine. Yep, jumping works. Although in the final game you can't jump walls like these. And I assume there's no entrance to the ranch. The day-night cycle is intact. Yeah, the ranch is... has an entrance, but it's blocked off. Let's go walking. Where's that, where's that Ganon horse? Now, will stall children appear? Even though I'm adult Link. No. I can neither mount the horse nor cut its tendons. And there do not appear to be stall children. All right. Well, I can't get I can't fight stall children, but I can fight a stallfos. Oh, it's the forest temple ones. Swords are for babies. Real men use hammers. Come here. Oh, the bombs are extra black. What is, what is that texture? They got like stuff on the sides. They're, they've got metal braces. Weird looking bombs. Yeah, I can just stand still and shield. Except probably not with the big Goron sword, I'm gonna guess. No! Ah! I exited by mistake. I just B is just my beaten my default button for exiting the the pause menu. All right, so he does not. He cannot. He still cannot shield automatically or otherwise with the big Goron sword. Yep, I can just stand. It really does beg the question of why there'd be an R shield button if you can just do that. Oh, there's a spin attack. What else is there? There's Death Mountain, Dodongo's Cavern, and the Special Course. Alright, well, let's do the 
Let's do the second big chunk, Death Mountain and the Dodongos. Okay, so this is where Goron City would be. I think the decision to make you press the button for the shield was for the better. Yeah, probably. It went back to just having it out by default in, I think, Breath of the Wild, didn't it? Space World 97, Legend of Zelda Hyrule Demo Tour. Welcome to the Goron Mountains. I'm a jolly Goron. I might look weird, but I'm a good guy, Goro. Grass growing at my feet is an alpine plant called a bomb flower. They are a specialty in these parts. Pulled up with the B button, will it become a bomb? When you pull it, catches flames on its own, so you don't press the B button to let it go quick. Watch out! Goro. That tick they brought back for one Goron in Majora's Mask. Were they really going to do that with every single race in the game? Were the Zoras going to say Zora at the end of every sentence? What items do I have? Still just the... Still the defaults. Death Mountain Summit, currently closed. Now you say that. But they still have the whole path all the way up here. Does it just go to a wall? Is it a dead end? No, it's still climbable. In what way is this closed? Okay, it's not climbable. Never mind. Ooh. Oh, that's a good effect. Is this why they wanted it closed off? So I wouldn't see this? Weird, uh, detached rock wall. I'm not stuck, am I? Uh-oh. Now we're good. So they got the day-night cycle done by this point. They got the uh, background, the village down there. The standing shield seems a little inconsistent. Sometimes enemies just break through it. Down here is a wall. Now, how bad is the Dongo's cavern going to be? Maybe it'll be shorter. Maybe they only finished the first dungeon. The Dongo's cavern has walls and floors you can blow holes in by using bombs, Golro. Place, pay special attention to walls and doors colored differently than their surroundings. You should try planting bombs in all sorts of places. You'll open unexpected paths. The Zelda 1 design philosophy. What is this post? 
It's just a post. All right. Well, I don't have a non-wooden shield to equip, so I, I hope it doesn't burn. Looks quite a bit more uh, ceremonial in this version. Heart piece? Nuts. Had to check. It's so, everything is so needlessly big. This and the Deku tree. There's no reason for them to be this big. It's just a lot of walking that you could be condensed. Well, there's nothing for me to do over here. I just walked across the room and back for no reason. I hope they don't want me to kill all the Armos in order to open that door. They might. Is that a Bemos? No, it's another Armos. They do, don't they? Oh. Oh, this is Zelda 1. There's just random walls that can be destroyed that you'd have no idea. Hey. Well, this is going to be annoying. I guess I got to check all the walls. You gonna ask me to burn all the random bushes next? Maybe the dongos do not bounce off shields. They do still explode. Found the dungeon map. Hello. You're gonna burn my shield, aren't you? Oh. Rock slides, okay. I'm still getting the buttons mixed up. Alright, we got the Lizalfos room. His tiny, stubby range. Alright, is the other one coming? Or do I have to chase it? I miss my jump attack so much. You know what? Stick. Dead. Could I could I have like just infinite lives? Can we do that? Oh, whoops. Well, it wasn't far into the dungeon, at least. 
As long as I don't have to kill all the Armos. I don't need nuts. I can do without those. Seems like the same general path as the final version of the dungeon. I come around this way. I'm going to hit a button. That's going to do something in here. Probably open the far door. I just have to not die this time. Do I still have the map? Did that save? It did not. No sense fighting pointless battles. So it was still three hits. That didn't seem like it did any more damage than the sword does. Maybe the short stick does the same amount of damage, it's just shorter. It seems to. Both variants of stick seem to do the same amount as normal sword damage. It, but boy, it feels like even the short stick is longer than the sword, though. The sword is pathetic. However, I can guard with the sword. I just got a shield, that's what I wasn't doing. See, sometimes the enemies just break through and deal a little bit of damage to you. It's like the, the standing shield is... A, is it like a half shield? He doesn't get launched or anything, he just takes a little bit. This is the Armos room. No, oh, go up, Link. And I remember playing, uh, I remember playing NES Legend of Zelda, where you just avoided all the enemies. There was no combat in that game. You never wanted to fight enemies. Slash sarcasm. Nope. The Dodongo room looks a little bit different. Dodongo behavior seems the same. And it's just for a heart piece. Is that the only purpose to this room? Okay. You can't slice their heads in the final version, can you? I thought you had to get their tails. On the plus side, on the plus side, the shield does not seem to be burnable. Heart pieces also do not restore health. Here's the stairs room. How do I activate it? Uh, 
There's not an extra bomb somewhere. Oh, I guess it goes all the way around anyway, so I can just... So they had a consistent idea of what kinds of uh, puzzles they wanted to use in each dungeon. I guess it was easy enough to remove the boomerang from the Deku tree, because it wasn't really used on anything in there. Except for the weird electric enemies. They just, they give out these heart pieces. They have to if there's eight of them to a heart. That would be so many collectibles, though. So there's that platform. That goes over to those pillars. Did the mouth just move? Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's a uh, good rendering. Let me see if I can... Hey, how you doing? No, that doesn't work. Boy, once you're down to half a stick, you're just stuck with it. Until you find another Deku stick pickup. What a weird system idea. It's like the it's like the the giant's knife, but for a sea item. You only have one of them you can carry. And if it breaks, you just have to get a new one. Hello! What's this, compass? It's a bomb bag. Alright. Now, what can I do with this? Oh, hello! What bizarre bomb designs. Don't feel my joystick doesn't feel steady. Okay, the spinny boulder room. Every dungeon needs one. There's the compass. They don't have anything that sends Link flying, like in the final game. He never gets sent just ricocheting back and screams. Okay, I have the bombs now, so now what? Now do I go to the pillars, I guess? Oh, wait, do I have to bomb the bottoms of them? Let's go back this way. Let's go back to that conspicuous wooden platform. Can I bomb the dongos, though? Guess not. 
In the final game, I'm pretty sure you can put bombs in front of them and they'll eat them. Well, here's hoping I'm on the right track. Navi is pointing me over there. Uh... You gonna tell me anything, Navi? Well, that didn't do anything. What a bizarre render. A means of rendering. Well, obviously I can't get up to where its eyes are, like in the final game. As far as I can tell, I can't. I'm a wee bit stuck here. We've been to... Okay, so this is still a, a way smaller dungeon than the Deku Tree was. As far as the map says, we've been to everywhere except the basement. Which I assume is where we fight the boss after we go through the skull. I just wish I knew how to get into the thing. I can't- I- I'm gonna say it. I wish I had Navi. I wish she would tell me what she wants me to do. I thought maybe I had to bomb the bottoms of these, but that also doesn't seem to be anything. You don't suppose there's a walkthrough for this, do you? This might be the end of the dungeon. There must be a way to finish it if they included it in the demo. I guess I'm not gonna find it. So, uh, let's just go fight the boss. Dodongo's skin is hard enough to be invincible, but actually they seem weak to bombs. It's a secret to everybody. Now, was that in the demo, or is that the fans that remade this having some fun. No, it's lowered. I'm not worried about it. I'll, I'll find out in the future, I'm sure. Yeah, there is a... Uh, there is some way to lower it. I just... I was too dumb to figure it out, I guess. I'll just hard cut to it being open and act like I did it. Make some dirty highlights. Alright, 
Is King da is King Dodongo any different? They don't have the uh, text. Yeah, just like the final game, you only get one attack. And I can't make it a jump attack, because the jump attack doesn't exist yet. Yeah, the fights seem pretty much done. These are, for all intents and purposes, identical to the final versions of the fights. Even the Stalfos. That scream lasted a really long time. Alright. Well, the only thing left is the special course, whatever that is. And the, uh, I guess we could check out the map select. Let's see what the special course is first. Oh, it's the, the Gerudo Training Ground. Ansari is here. As Adult Link. Space World 97, Legend of Zelda Dungeon Tour. Welcome to the special course. Here you can select three courses. Each course has a warp point at the goal. Content of each course is written on the sign, so be sure to read them. Let's give it a shot. Boy, they basically... They basically never met face-to-face -face like this, Adult Link and Saria. It was just the Chamber of Sages. Archery course. Shoot the monument with your bow and arrows. Hit all targets, clear the course. Map and compass? Yeah. Tag course. Chase after the fleeing ghost called Poe. So I guess this was repurposed into the training grounds. Maze battle course. Four ghosts are hiding in the maze. Let's go for archery first. Let's see what that's like. Once again, our items are just the usual. Just the default. Oh, it's this room. I don't like this room even in the final game. N64. Why do you keep... He keeps pulling out bombs, I think. We haven't fun yet? No, Link, please! I don't think I'm Call of Duty gamer enough. 
No one show this to Jack. He's not allowed to see it. Okay, I, just, I gotta line up, and I gotta get get ready ahead of time. That's all. That's all. It's not so bad. And then I fall in the lava and die. I wonder if that would reset the room. Yeah, it's like a mix of the Gerudo grounds and Ganon's castle. All right, let's try chase the Poe. How big a maze are we talking? Okay, it's Proto Dompe. I guess it's better they use the word chase than the word race, because this really isn't a race and never was. It is a very similar layout, though, to the final Dompe one. Do I win? Oh, now I gotta fight it. GG's. Now what's the four pose? Do they already have models for the four pose sisters? That previous one was already pretty maze-like. Oh, it's this room from the... No, I thought it was the room with the invisible walls from the Shadow Temple. Where, where'd it go? You like mazes? Can it go into the walls? I think it can. Well, that's not fair. This is one way to fill time, I guess. Gotta say, not the most fun thing in the game. This here, uh, Poe maze.
they don't even attack. They just float around. Just being invisible, being nuisances. So I don't think I'm gonna do Pokemon today. I think this is long enough to just be a stream. I'll, I'll, I'll hop around the map select. See if there's anything that was not in the, uh... In the proper areas. I think I saw Kakariko in the list. There could still be some stuff to check out in this demo. Come on. Come through your stupid wall. At least Adult Link has some range to his sword. It really did feel like the broken stick was longer than the Kikiri sword in this. What say you, Saria? Are you impressed? She didn't care. She never cared. Alright. A little bit of credits. Those are the guys. Alright. Hyrule Field. We saw that. Kakariko Village. We didn't see that. And I can choose between child and adult. Oh. Hello. So, uh, this is what the background that you see from the... from Death Mountain is based off of. Good sign. Hello. You're beautiful. Do you have anything to say? No? Just gonna look here. Look at me sadly. I'm gonna bet none of the doors open. Chicken? Can I hold the chicken? Cannot hold the chicken. Oh, the chicken looks weird. Why is it n its neck bent like that? That's not how a chicken's neck works. What? There's this uh, juggler fella. I can't roll into trees because there's no roll. I believe that was uh, Steven Tyler's later contribution to the game. The rolling thunder! Yeah, no one talks. Your uh, beard has some clipping issues, buddy. Oh, this guy's head moves. He has tracking. That, that's slightly more than any of the other NPCs. Okay, so this is a very, very basic, very unfinished little village. I remember there was a female NPC model that was unfinished. It was very funny looking. I don't know if that's in this or not. Well, this is in this.
of all the features they had to have ready, they had to be sure this was done and working. Can I make it to the map exit? Probably not. I'm gonna try, though. I'm ass assuming even that is a map exit. It looks like one. That doesn't necessarily mean anything. Oh, there's stairs over there. I didn't check out that little area. I can make it! I can do it! <laughs> this is the final boss! Bob and weave! I did it. This is a, uh... Much less impressive graveyard than the final product. Again, no text. Nothing to read, nothing to check. This looks a lot more Mario 64-y. There's Dodongos in the graveyard? That sounds like a terrible idea. Just a big, empty map with nothing on it. I'm glad they made the map smaller for the final game. I'm, I'm glad they, uh... Optimized. Oh, is there a cross on the tombstone? Oh, hello. We got a full item list. Blue shell? Landmine? Excuse me? We got an ocarina. Hookshot. Can't use it, but... Magnifying Lens of Truth. See why they shortened that. Horsegrass Whistle. Oh, that's right, because I, I guess songs weren't a thing? Fairy Spirit Potions, Zelda's Letter. What else is there? Giant's Knife, Mirror Shield. Tunics, the boots, silver bracelet. Okay, here we go. Rauru seal, Saria seal, Darunia seal, Rudo seal, Naburu seal, Mido seal. Okay, so we had Mido was one of the sages. I guess. Mido in charge of the the, the, the edgiest uh, edgiest Kikiri is in charge of the Shadow Temple. What are what are our songs? We got the Minuet of Wind, Lyro of Fire, Waltz of Water. That's not a waltz. Gospel of Spirit, Etude of Shadow, and Prelude of Light. All four stones of agony. The map does not seem to work. Well, I know there was rumors of uh, Fado having more of a role, and there was going to be a Wind Temple originally. Maybe that is the Wind Temple. Maybe that's the the the. Well, no, the the green one is Minuet of Wind. So I guess Saria would have been the Wind Sage because there are uh, Wind elements to Ganon's forest section of Ganon's Tower. And also the the Wind Sage in Wind Waker is a uh, Kikiri. Let's see if we can play the songs. They look to be the same songs. They're not they're not different notes or anything. I'll play some songs and then I'll try a landmine. That'll be a good way to go out. Oh the the metals have names too. There's fire Ice, wind, spirit, light, and shadow. So what's missing? I ice is instead of water. Wind is instead of forest. And that's it. Also notice the Triforce was called a Zelda's seal.
Okay, songs don't work. Let's blow shit up. Is it gonna go off? Good thing I had my trusty shield out. I'll bet I can I, I can resolve this though. I have an idea. Oh, I can't have that many out at once. Okay. Oh. I can't have a, a three and a bomb. Can I have two and a bomb? Wow. He, he tanked it. We got to do one more. Oh, that's right, I have a fairy. Well, the fairies work. There's a, a weird cut item. I wonder if I was an adult if I could equip these, because I another early feature was that the metals themselves would have effects that could be used. Let's quit. Let's go to another map as a adult link, see if we can use those. Map select. The okay, there's the village, there's a graveyard, the lost woods we haven't been to. There's multiple spawns we can select. Kikiri village. We'll just go through the go through them. Oh. Oh, the the lost woods looked a lot like they did in the Bajora intro. What are you? Oh, there's slimes. There's proto choo choos. Every RPG needs slimes. Granted, this isn't an RPG, but still. Yeah, you don't have a song for a pony, you just use a horse whistle. Hookshot seems uh, mostly functional. Can I hookshot a tree? No. Goes quite a ways. Also, the icon is a little bit different. Alright, let's try these out. What do these do? We have the fire medallion. Is Din's fire. The ice one. Wind? Oh, he did like a little dance! Where'd it go? Yeah, it, it, okay, it's Furore's Wind. It's the warp point mechanic. This is cool. I kind of would have liked this. Over just the three largely useless magic spells we got. What does the light one do? Invisibility? Oh, it's like the fairy spell! In Zelda 2! I get a turn into... into... Navi? I wonder what utility this could have had. I can fly! Oh, that's awesome! Yo! It's Zelda 2 fairy! What was the white one? Is that the light one? I don't know what that did. 
Maybe it would be like a utility thing. It's, uh, yeah, it's light. Maybe it would light up a room or something. Maybe it's like HMO5. Okay, shadow. What do we get for shadow? It's dark. I, I think this is like the shield in the final game. I think this is the blue one. Nehru's love. Well, I wish there were some enemies I could try it on, but... Oh, here they are. Hey. Yeah, it's the shield. Not only is it a shield, enemies don't want to mess with you while it's up. Like, the shield was not that effective in the final version of the game. I tried it to, like, keep like, uh, not like likes, uh, levers off of me in the desert, and they still would stun me and deal a little bit of damage. I like those. I kind of wish Zelda had more magic in it. Okay, well, that's something. There's not a map of the Lost Woods, is there? And it's kind of inconvenient that it's just, like, pitch black while you're using it, but... I'm gonna make a, make a quick run around the perimeter, just to make sure there's not any exits that I missed. Maybe it would have been, like, the Sun Song, Change the Time of Day, that would make sense. Oh, there's a whole, like, section I didn't see. Can hammer rocks. This is like a whole second Hyrule field. I think the Lost Woods that we got in the final game was more interesting, because this is really just a big, empty area, but... I guess this would make sense as, like, a big thing to traverse through on your way to the Sacred Forest Meadow. Have a whole nother uh, Hyrule Field-sized area. Now, hold on. By the way, the uh, A and B buttons are ascend and descend, if you were curious. I, I can break... The, I can defeat the purpose of these walls by using this spell. Oi! Can you hear me? If you use the Z trigger, we can talk even when we're this far away! I think this one has hearing issues. And eyesight issues. What is this face he's got? Oh, it's like the scream. I wonder where that goes, that door. Where do any of these go? I can now boundary break with this spell. This goes nowhere. I mean, probably all the entrances you're not supposed to access go nowhere. It'd be nice if there were more music in this. But I guess that would break the spirit of, uh... The spirit of keeping to the original. Oh, hello! Yeah? I was wondering if he was just going to fall forever. Well, so what's up where the Lost Woods would be? There's just another little house up here. Another tree stump. Yeah. 
All right. Lost Woods, Gakiri Village, Sacred Forest Meadow we haven't been to. Lake Hylia. There's a lot of maps that are in various states of completion. So the Sacred Forest Meadow would have looked a lot like the Lost Woods. Sure is big and empty. That seems to be a theme. For, uh, these versions of the games. Oh, you're still here! You're, uh, a lot less effective in these circumstances, I'm sorry to say. Is this the forest temple? It's just a big square brick building. It's not very impressive, I gotta say. Oh, but there's an entrance. Wow, the forest temple's here. How much of it is here? A fair amount of it. It looks like. There's some pose scattered about. Is there a map? No, it does it doesn't even register as there being the it doesn't register as us being inside a temple, so it doesn't even show the temple uh the dungeon map screen. It looks pretty similar to the final layout, though. More or less. This mess of a room is even more complicated. Also, there's no music playing, so it's extra creepy. They seem they have all the collision in place though, so they were they were a ways through this. Look, there's the block puzzle. You can bring the block over here. I, I guess that's what they want us to do. I'm not gonna do this. I'm just kind of I'm just looking around a little bit. Yeah, this room this room is even worse than the final version. They were way more ambitious with the dungeons in the demo than they, they they really toned it down for the final game. Can we access the is the courtyard there? Are the outdoor sections of the of the dungeon intact? They are. This is the most similar to the final version yet. Except this ladder is not climbable. They, they didn't get quite that far. We've reached the end of our exploration. I could look around the temple more, but there's other maps that I want to look at. Lake Hylia, Zora's River, Zora's Fountain. There's so much. Goma Boss, Jabu Jabu Dungeon Test. Deku Tree Dungeon. Well, what's the difference between normal and test? Is this a different, a whole different version of the Deku Tree? We have a third version of the dungeon. Except there's nothing in it. It's just a big ring of wood. Okay. Okay. I, I guess that's the test. Uh, any any suggestions to maps I should go to? Feel free. Shout them out. What are some I want to look at? A mar market, for one. Let's check out Hyrule Castle Market. 
Music's here. Do you know about the Shadow Folk? They are the Sheikah, the shadows of us Hylians. For generations, they've sworn allegiance to the King of Hyrule and carried out sorcery, espionage, and even assassinations. Seems they maneuvered secretly throughout the underworld. But with the dawn of a peaceful age, such covert work became unnecessary. Since then, no one has seen a Sheikah in the world of Hyrule. Perhaps the Sheikah died out, only used and exploited. It's a shame when you think about it. Is that dialogue in the base game, or is this new dialogue? We Hylians are people chosen by the gods. That's not a good way to start a conversation. Don't say, don't go around telling people that. Our ears are so big we can listen to their voices. Got it, kid? You're a kid I haven't seen before. Those clothes, that hat. Son, are you a Kakiri? The Kakiri rarely leave the forest, so it's been a while since I've seen one. That winged ball of light flying above your head is a fairy, right? They have, like, dialogue for all the people here. Hey, kid, you see that mountain over there? That's Mount Hebra, also known as Death Mountain. We have a new name for Death Mountain. I'm, I'm sorry, I gotta read that one again. So, in this town, there's, like, this building called the Temple of Time, and it's been here, like, forever, right? But the entrance is, like, shut? And there's, like, this weird stone slate. I totally don't get it. It's, like, super annoying. Okay, that's a good NPC. I like that NPC. I saw an angel. A girl like a divine angel, as though she wasn't of this earth. She was in the castle courtyard, frolicking with a beautiful white horse. How'd I get into the castle courtyard? I can't tell you that. This is a pretty close to finished Hyrule Castle Town. Uh, Temple of Time looks quite a bit different. This is kind of a cool looking map. What's out here? Nothing? You just make me walk all the way down here for nothing? Okay. I, I like how the audio fades out as you get far away, though. Temple of Time looks pretty similar. Dora Time, kind of underwhelming. It has the Deku Tree music inside. Was this playing in the Deku Tree? What about the back alleys? Are those here? Oh, this lady has some dialogue. King of Hyrule has a princess named Zelda who's about the same age as you, son. They say that Zelda has a mysterious power. That's why there are rumors that Zelda is a legendary sage. Got it? Looks like the back alleys are closed off by a small tree. And I lack HMO1 cut. Yeah, I can't go into the alleys. What's the castle? Does this just go to the the castle map we saw earlier? Yeah, it does. There's a lot here. Who 
who's that Kazuya looking NPC? This guy? Say that the, the west of Hyrule Field is a vast desert where the Gerudo dwell. The path is intersected by the depths of Gerudo Valley, which can't be crossed by humans, so I haven't gone yet. They say the Gerudo are a tribe of women. <laughs> Gerudo, the land of women. Wouldn't I love to pay a visit? Not that's any business of yours, kid. And then does this go out to the field? No, this goes nowhere. I wonder what it would look like if I used the fairy flight on that level, or on that map. One of the maps with the overhead cameras. Uh, Temple of Time, Chamber, Chamber of Sages. Which you can't normally walk around in. We got Little Zelda, the sage. Not, not Big Zelda. She's sagely enough, I suppose. We got... You're not Saria. You're not Mito either. Who are you? We got... Impa. Proto-Impa. The fire sage? We don't got a water sage. We couldn't find one. Sorry. Is this, is this the lady? This is the NPC. This is the fucked up weird looking one. Is this proto adult Zelda? This is, in this version, this is the spirit one. And Agoron is the shadow. The, the, this is Agoron named Mido. We got weird lady. Y'all are a bunch of imposters. We're not the A team, we're the B team. Can I jump? I cannot jump. Okay. Well, this this was thoroughly disappointing. This visit to the Chamber of Sages. Wait, what? Uh So I pressed the left button. And that affected the arrows. Hello, do we have six types of arrows? Well, this requires investigation. Alright, Impa, you're up first. Hold still. Fire arrows. I'm gonna guess ice arrows. Wind arrows? Yeah, it's wind. I don't know what that could have done. Extreme knockback? Spirit arrows? Kind of looks similar to light arrows in the final game. These are this version's light arrows. Yeah, just just light. And what are the shadow arrows? Yo! It's the Ganondorf magic noise! Oh, I bet those would have been like super damaging or something. Yeah, it would have been cool. They get they weren't even able to make the ice arrows cool in the final game. They just shoved them in and they did nothing. Fairy fountain target which target range? The Gerudo targets? Uh no. It's just uh it's just Nevada. Hello? Just hanging out? I guess this is a target range. 
Would this have been some somewhere relative to the ranch? Well, there are targets. This seems kind of like a test map. Like, maybe this was eventually to become the Gerudo Valley horse shooting target range. Oh, I can run and cut! I don't have to stop running to use my sword. I do have to stop for the second hit. But I get one freebie. This is so... You know what? I don't need to be walking. Walking is for poor people. Never mind. I guess the horse doesn't work on the horseback archery range. Nor does archery. What is this? Is more targets? It's such a huge map! Why do they have this huge map if you can't use your horse on it? Alright, moving on. I'm glad I checked the map select. There's, just, there's so much here that's not in the sample areas. Water cave. Not, not the ice cavern, the water... Oh, cool cave. Glad I came here. Water cave. Where's the water? All right. Is the ferry faster? Like, than Navi in the final game? Hyrule Castle Garden. Uh. Oh, this is the fountain. This is where we would arrive at when we crawled through the the waterway in the castle. This kind of makes it feel like Final Fantasy, this style of maps. Using a fairy is getting around faster. I could. I just, I have to equip the item and then use it is all. And I can't use it on the left because that'll turn into the, the arrows. No, I'm actually not allowed to use the item on this particular map. It seems it varies on uh, which map you're able to do it on. Probably disabled on all the ones with a non-conventional camera. Grotto, what, what's the old Hyrule field? Original? Oh. Oh, this is old. Look at this most beta of beta. Ah, there's a little thud when he hit the ground. The fairy's a little bit faster. Oh, this is an old... So this is basically just the layout of Hyrule Field is all that's here. Even the map in the bottom there is so just it's it's just like a, a vomit so they knew early on they wanted the path from the forest to the the castle is the ranch here no there's not even there's not even a ranch in the center of it what is that is that the ranch Oh, there's a time limit to ferry. What an upgrade. 
Lon Lon Ranch just used to be a single house and, and a field of crops. Boy, Talon's come a long way. I don't know why I'm trying these doors. I know none of them are going to go anywhere. Decatree Dungeon Special Course Jabu Jabu Forest Temple Fire Temple Water Temple Ganon's Tower Kakiri Village Old I'm, I'm looking for Lake Hylia There it is Zora's River and Zora's Fountain Well this is very different Does horse interact with water? Horse does not care about water. This version does not have water programmed yet. Hello, Ailson. The horse itself is pretty finished, though. You should continue running along walls and things. There's a little log bridge over the, uh, over the entrance. It looks a lot bigger than the... I, I said that for every single map. This is way bigger than the final Lake Hylia. Needlessly so, in fact. No, get down. I like how much more depth there is to the sword in this version. I kind of wish they kept it. I guess a lot of it was they figured it was not, uh, it didn't add to the gameplay. So they just nixed it. I guess in Twilight Princess you get to do multiple cuts while running, don't you? There is no reason for the lake to be this big. Oh, hello. He's not at Zora's Fountain. Jabu Jabu is just here. I'm going to land on his head. Ah! Oh. So how you guys doing? You ever ride a fish before? I'm not pressing anything, by the way. I haven't pressed a single button since landing on him. There's the uh, Proto Lakeside Lab. Can I enter Jabu Jabu? I can. I just have to walk towards the, the bridge. Never mind. It does not. It just takes me to another entrance at the at the la at the river, or at the uh, at the lake. Well, what's the? So Zora's domain is not here. I kind of don't want to stop. I want to. I want to see all these maps. Oh, oh, those are Octoroks. What are you? The stupid shield you don't even have to activate. Yeah, they really, uh... They really started out just making the most bare-bone essential versions of every map. Before anything else, and then expanding upon them. Oh, hold on. We have some stuff. We have a little, a little ramp here. We got fish. This shield is so generous. 
It's not a very interesting Zora's River. Not gonna lie. Is this Zora's Fountain? It's just at the top of the river. This is kind of more similar to uh, Twilight Princess. Was there a Zora's Domain in Twilight Princess? I don't remember. What's Gerudo Valley like? There's a horse. Multiple horses. The music's not here yet. Gerudo Valley, ruined. Alright, come here, Pona. We're gonna jump a gap. Okay, get up, Link. I'm gonna go back to the randomizer. I'm gonna have B and A backwards, and it's just gonna mess with me. Hey, the jump is here! They finished that! It was It's not a cutscene, but she can jump the gap at least. It's a much more uh, realistic version of the tent. Does this go anywhere? Nope, just back to the menu. I guess that's where the uh, unscripted warps all lead. Hyrule Castle we saw, Death Mountain we saw, Death Mountain Caverns. Oh, this is like, a, this is tight. This is like a realistic cave. This doesn't seem like it would be fun to explore. This is claustrophobic as shit. No? Okay. Lying wall. Won't break. More of those uh, weird Octoroks. Oh, hello! Uh, so this isn't death. In the traditional sense. I guess uh, Link now lives in the crag. Thus ended Link's spelunking forever. Wait. Wait. Wow, the fairy really ensures that you can't get stuck on geometry, at the very least. This is really navigable for a Nintendo 64 game. Yeah, this this doesn't seem like it would add a lot to the game. I can see why this uh, this room was not in the final version. Market, Chamber of Sages, Kakiri Shop, Kakiri House. Who's Jabu Jabu Test Dungeon? Let's see. Let's see Proto Flesh. Oh, it's fleshy. There's electric things. This is the whole dungeon, huh? All right, good dungeon. Glad I came. Forest Temple, Fire Temple. What's the... What's the test version? Oh, it's just this stupid room. Nope. There's the ring room and the fire temple. Oh, hello. There's uh, quite a bit of Fire Temple.
They got the whole vertical they got the whole vertical size of the fire temple. What about the water temple? It's the Morpha room. I guess. Unless this would have been like the main room of the water temple. Which honestly makes it seem more like a temple. I mean, bring your swim trunks, but otherwise, yeah, this is a place that people could worship in. Oh no, that's that's definitely the Morpha room. Here's the way up to the boss. What's all this? There's a bridge? There's like a, a bit of an, uh, like a Japanese theme? Okay, no, it's the same as it ever was. Same as it ever was. Same as it ever was! Here's the big central cave-like room. Alright. I've seen enough. I don't need to see more water temple. Ganon's tower. Oh, there's, there's special test rooms as well. We're almost at the end of the list. Ganon's tower is uh, very fleshy. Has the Dodongo's Cavern music as a placeholder. Oh, we got Wallmasters! Blue Wallmasters! Is there one in the opposite room? What happens if I get caught by one in this version? Probably just get ba taken back to that center room. I would wager a guess. It's not that dissimilar from the final version of Ganon's Tower. Oh, what is that? It was a bald skull, uh... Stalfos. What are you? Are you Proto Iron Knuckle? Sonic and Knuckle? He's got a sword. He doesn't have an axe yet. Oh, he doesn't care if you shield either. I wonder if these were called Iron Knuckles yet, or if they were maybe the Dark Nuts of this game. How tough are these guys? Can I beat a Proto Knuckle? Knuckle is tough, I saw the Sonic 2 trailer. You can get behind him pretty easy, seems like. There's a lot of new stuff in Ganon's Tower. I want to go one more time. I, I want to. I'll ignore him this time. I want to see how high up I can go and see how much new, uh, new quote-unquote stuff there is. All right. So here's the the final Stalfos. And what is this, Astolfos? Is this the proto Stalfos? It is. I think this is the one that we saw the... Like, the shitty Link fighting. I should have got my hammer out. It's weird that the regular and prototype Stalfos are both in the same game. 
in the same area of the same game. Are there more proto enemies? What's in this room? Oh, it's just a balcony over the previous room. What's the point of that? Oh, that is the one that I used for the, uh, the border. I kind of wish there was a proto-Ganondorf that looked like extra shit. But we already saw the Ganondorf model for this version of the game. Well, I probably don't want to jump down there. I guess it makes sense that Ganon's Tower would be one of the first areas they did. Considering the idea to use it as a hub hub area. Well, here it is. We're at the top. I guess we're the new Ganondorf. Stalfos. Test map. Depth test. Okay. So this is one of the maps that they make to just test various things in the game. I can't catch that cuckoo! Does anyone else speak? Do you understand so far? I have no idea what's going on. There's some dudes hanging out with Impa. What's here? There's some, there's some more dudes. There's ladders. There's a lot of this dude. They really like this specific guy. It's just the land of John Hy Hylian. What's the depth test? I'm curious what the... Oh. Good test. I understand depth now. Sasaki's test. There's little items scattered about. In the original Space World 97 demo, many interactable objects found in overworld maps were handled by just one special overworld actor. Each instance of this actor placed in a map had unique settings to tell the actor what model to display and what behavior to have. While many settings have been figured out or guessed at, some are just too difficult to figure out with any amount of certainty. Therefore, blue cubes have been placed in spots where the overworld actor was used, but its settings were unable to be figured out. Wow, even for the maps that were not included in the... the main portions, they have a little text dialogue explaining. It's like the Insomniac Museum. Unless this is just a generic thing that they put wherever they that such a blue cube instance occurs. Yeah, there's just cuttable bush bushes. Alright, generic test map. Another test room. LOD test. I like that. I still like that running slice. What? 
just various interactables. Still kind of cool to see all this. I just wish I could roll through it screaming so it really felt like Zelda. I know how to do this. I wonder if there's tests for the other elemental arrows. Like the shadow one. I wonder if they got that far. L O D. Legion of Doom? Uh. I guess it's just for testing when things load in. Material test. It's all grass. There's only one material. This is a terrible test. Oh. Is it really... T they made a, an entire room just to test one specific object? Alright. Stalfos mini boss room, boss room. What's the difference? I like this room. This room looks cool. The little windows up here. This is a room they should have used in the final game. This would have made a cool building interior. There's no Stalfos, though. Kind of a misnomer. Alright, final map. Kikiri Village Old. It's listed as bonus, so I wonder what, what that means. Why is this special? Through this hole, Hyrule Field. This is the room from the trailer. The Ocarina of Time trailer, or the Zelda 64, this project's trailer? Is that little surly dude? Oh, that, is that Mito? It's Fairy Endowment Day, Jara! That means I'm all grown up, too. You know, you know about the Fairy Endowment, right? No idea. That's no good! Let me educate you. Better listen up. Jara Jara. The Fairy Endowment is a ceremony where us Kikiri receive fairies from our guardian deity, the Great Deku Tree. Fairies we get help us out with all sort of things until we're all grow up. But you're never all grow up. I wonder where this is from, if this was also in the beta... I probably should have been Child Link for this. I haven't changed from Adult Link this entire time. We carry your siblings who were born together from our guardian deity, the Deku Tree. We grow up together, and when we die, we'll be together too. It's never lonely. It's a little grim. Is, again, a much more wide-open version of the Kikiri Village than the final one we got. Oh, this shop sells the stuff anyone can find in the forest. No need to bother buying it. Everyone's out to, like, shut down the shop, the Kikiri shopkeeper. 
Like, this one kid here, he just had a dream. He wants to own a shop. He wants to run a shop. And, and everyone's like, don't buy the shit here. No, no one needs it. You can just find it in the woods. What an idiot opening a shop. I, I missed the first part. I was taking a nap on the roof, but I got a shock because I was half asleep and suddenly rolled off. Today is Fairy Endowment Day, which is important for us Kakiri. Wouldn't want to get myself hurt. Is this my house? Is this Saria? Link's house. Hey, Link, is everything okay? It's another Mito. I guess from the very beginning, Link's house always had the little drawings on it. That's nice. When you meet someone, you're supposed to greet them with B. That's the Kikiri etiquette. Is that why in the final game, Link greets with A? Because he's Hylian? Great Deku Tree is just beyond the path through this overgrown area. With, with the Moblins causing trouble, I've been unable to get through to the Great Deku Tree's place. You should take something you can use as a weapon and a shield. Some of your in this ver in this version, some of your first opponents would have been moblins. That's a hell of a task to start with. Oh wow! Hello. It really is wild moblins. Are they on a path, or do they just charge at you? Hello. They really, they really were going to task you with just fighting Moblins immediately. Not that that's anything new for the Zelda series. I was Zelda 1 as well, but... Hello? I can't tell if they're on tracks, or if they just... It looks like they just charge at you whatever direction you're facing. Whatever direction they're facing. Oh, there's the there's the the fling back. Ganon left quite the guard in front of the Deku tree. Hello, tree. Goodbye, tree. Wish there was more free roaming moblins in the final game. It's weird that there's so few, considering that they're supposed to be like Ganon's guys. They're like his main force. It's also weird how robotic they look in Ocarina of Time. Uh, I think in the 3DS game, certainly in the recent 4K version of the 3DS game, they look more uh, like themselves. They look like organic, you know, moblins. I'm growing mushrooms. When I grow up, I'm going to plant some more in the dirt above here. I'm going to cut down your mushrooms. You're not going to have any mushrooms left. Is that like a hint that there's something to get up to up there? It's clear they were programmed to charge at you, not just on a set path. Yeah, but at the same time, they were really non-threats in that area just now. Like, they charge at you, you dodge them, and then they just kind of stare into the, into the space for a full ten seconds. If they were more aggro, I, they could have made them threats. They could have made them function that way, but... I would have been cool with free roaming mob free roaming moblins. So none of the houses are accessible. Uh, none of the holes seem to go anywhere. I don't know where the hole to the forest temple it was just talking about was. I 
I'm guessing the whole the Hyrule field doesn't go anywhere either. It is kind of, it is weird how the, the Lost Woods went from looking like they do in this to the version in Ocarina of Time to going back to looking like this in the intro to Majora's Mask. I wonder if they, they had had more time for Ocarina. Like, I wonder if they had to get that out the door. If it, if it might have looked nicer had they given it an, another couple months. Or more like, more, maybe more like they envisioned, let's say. It doesn't look... Doesn't look bad for its time. Alright. I'll do a quick fly around, and that's how I'll end this. I can't summon my horse here, can I? Horse, come to me. I cannot. Alright. Fairy flight. I guess I can see why this was cut, because it... They would really have to be careful with their geometry in order to let you not go above a certain height. Otherwise, you see the backs of things, you see where things aren't rendered, etc., etc. And they can't let that happen. Hello, Moblin. I'm going to end this on top of the Deku Tree's head. Oh, whoops! I'm going to end this on the Great Deku Tree's nose. What a beautiful view. Alright. That's it for today. Wow, that was... Uh, it didn't take that long to do the main maps, but looking at the... It was interesting to look at all the other maps that were included. And I'm glad they included those, because that was honestly a lot more fun than doing stupid, way too big tree dungeon. Ah, oh, I hate doing dungeons in Zelda. But the rest of it was interesting. I'm, I'm glad we got to see all the proto stuff. The different maps, and especially the magic. I'm sad they cut the magic. That was really cool. But, uh... I'll do the Pokemon Space World stuff in the fu on a future stream. That'll be coming, and hopefully Jack and I can do more of the randomizer in our streams in the near future. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.